Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So I haven't filmed a video in quite a while. Um, I actually do have a video that is like, supposed to be going, like supposed to be, uh, I actually do have a video or a vlog that was supposed to go live but by the time this is out I'm not sure if it's gone live or not because I've had so many problems with editing it and so many problems with uploading it. Like I, I edited it, uploaded it, it uploaded wrong. If it's up I'm sorry that it's so late, but if it's not, then I might not be putting it up, even though it's a vlog that I really, 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 really want to put up. It's the Big Beauty Day out vlog, so if it's up there, I'm not sure, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it is by the time um, this is out. Now, my hair is annoying me. Um, it's all frizzy and... Ugh, but ugh, it's just everywhere. So, today's video, I am going to be, like, testing out a foundation, something I've never done before on, like, my channel. Um, but I've seen, I've seen it being done around YouTube. I'm gonna be trying to do something like that. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a full long wear test like to see how long it lasts but I'm gonna try and just test it out and see what it's like on my skin and what the claims are of the foundation and stuff like that. It's currently really really hot um, and I've got my window shut and I've got a softbox light on me and I'm, it's just really really hot so I'm going to try and open the window but I'm hoping there's not enough I'm hoping there's not loads of loud noises so I'm going to go open my window yeah let's just get on with the video and yeah I'm going to be testing a foundation and then kind of just doing my usual base makeup and like usual face usual makeup that I do over any foundation and yeah it's really really hot so I'm going to try and go simple I also want to get some henna done today so I'm going to try and find somewhere where I can get some henna done um on my hands and yeah so I'm gonna get on with everything so now let's get in to the video and let's test out the foundation let's go so to prep my face every day and every night I use two things so I use the body shop vitamin E hydrating toner I use this all the time and I use the Mario Badescu Facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I've now been using these for quite a while and they have been making a significant difference. Like, I'm nearly out of this. Okay, before I even start my makeup, I always put quite a few layers underneath of, like, different bases. So I start off with Cetaphil, and I have been using this for ages as well, but I kind of don't use it on an everyday basis just because I feel like it makes my skin really, really... Not really oily, but it just... I would prefer to use a different one, but if I am going to moisturise, I um, use Cetaphil. So ignore my eyebrows. My eyebrows have not been threaded for like a month and I need to get them done, so I will do that. The next thing I use, and I've only been using this for a while because, I've only been using this for a short while because I've only just recently got it. It's this and it's the Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marvel. A super moisturising day cream by Soap and Glory. Yeah, it does like smell rather nice because it has watermelon in it and for those of you who know me know I am obsessed with watermelon. Like I love watermelon. As you can see I love watermelon. <laughs> the next thing I have is this. It's too hard to show you when there's a bright light beaming on the product. So the next thing I have is a bright and pearly soap and... Let me just show you. So the Bright and Pearly Soap and Glory Radiance Boosting Cocktail. So the next thing that I use is the NYX Colour Correcting Liquid Primer. This primer will get rid of redness. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of redness because of acne scars and a few like blemishes that pop up now and then. And my skin has kind of, it's kind of going down now. But um, at the beginning of the week and throughout the week, my skin like, had a flare up. Um, and I don't know why, but I just did. Okay, so I just sorted out the light because it was a bit too in the face. So I've just sorted it out. And the thing I'm just going to prime my face with just to set all those creams and moisturizers in. I'm just, and like the primers in, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I absolutely love. So now that my skin is nice and ready, we can go into doing the foundation. So I might as well just show you the foundation now, so. So the foundation we are gonna test out is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, which is this one. 
So this is the foundation we are going to test out. So I know that a lot of people love this foundation. So I'm going to test it out myself and see. Um, I got the shade number 55 dark beige and I literally just went to the store yesterday and I picked it up and I'm not quite sure if it's going to look a bit dark. Because looking at it now, it is it does seem quite dark. I think I should have gone for the light beige or just the beige. I think I should have just gone for beige because my face is actually lighter than my neck so I don't know if this would have been the right shade for me I feel, feel like a heavy foundation like the Revlon Colorstay would be too hot for me to wear now just on an everyday basis so I'm gonna try so that's why I wanted to try the bourgeois foundation I went to Boots yesterday I picked it up this is actually £9.99 um, in the UK I'm not sure how much it is around the world I don't know where else you can get it but I know that you can get it in the UK and it's £9.99 I got it from Boots I'm pretty sure you can get it, you can get it from Superdrug as well. So I've just looked it up on Boots and it has come up and say it says that Bourgeois Healthy Mix Foundation is a multifunctional product that helps keep your skin beautifully radiant while giving you a clear complexion. It also contains a unique blend of vitamins for an anti-fatigue effect, making it a perfect addition to your morning routine for a fabulously fresh face. Okay, so Bourgeois Healthy Mix Foundation contains vitamin C, E, and B5 that gives that gives skin an instant anti-fatigue effect. The hydrating formula keeps your complexion, complexion growing and what's more, it will stay radiant for up to 16 hours. I'm gonna apply this foundation using a damp Real Techniques sponge. And yeah, I'm just gonna pump some on the back of my hand. Give it a few pumps. It doesn't really claim anything about the coverage either. It doesn't say anything about the coverage, so we'll just look at it and see what coverage we get. I'm hoping for like a medium high, a medium full coverage because anything that's a low coverage will not do for me because I have very red skin. Like I have very like blemished, not blemished skin, but I have acne scarring and I just want to cover that up. So we'll see how much it can cover up. I feel like I've got a good test for this foundation because you can see how much it's going to cover my skin. Okay, so it's quite, it's quite liquidy. I'm not, I don't even know about the shape. Oh, my hair. The colour is actually not bad. Baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves. So I'm going to go for another pump. So the match, the colour match does look like okay um my neck has always been darker so it matches my skin very well but it might be a bit my neck might be a bit darker so the skin looks um like my face looks lighter i'm gonna go in with concealer and all of that um and then we'll see so i'm just gonna speed all that up because i've already like shown you some of this stuff and we're just going to test out the foundation. It's not my usual makeup routine. So I'm just going to be testing out the foundation. And if I do have any problems of like when I'm applying anything else, then I'll, you know, cut in and tell you that. And everybody's watching her, but she's looking at She's looking 
that is it. That is my makeup completely done. Overall thoughts of this foundation. I've just applied my makeup, so I will show, I've just applied the rest of it. Overall, overall thoughts of this foundation. I absolutely love it. I have put it on and it went on so easily. It sunk into the skin. It feels like, it literally feels like I've got nothing on. Um, it feels very light. It's very nice on the skin. It smells so nice. Um, yeah, and the coverage may not have been full coverage or as much as a medium coverage as I thought it would have been. But it all depends on the person's skin really because my skin is more, I have more to cover up. With this foundation, it looks great on the skin. It looks glowy and my highlight went on so nicely and all the other products went on so nicely. And I think it's because of how creamy and um, nice the foundation is. This foundation gives me that dewiness and you can see the highlight that I've got on is the Maui, no, Morphe and Bretman Rock. The Morphe and Bretman Rock highlight which is looking good, looking good. Um, I've got the shade Vagation on. Um, the foundation is just, it just glides on and everything else glides on top of that. It's really, really, really nice. I feel like my makeup look a bit, my makeup would look a bit better if my eyebrows were actually like done properly, but I haven't had time to go to the eyebrow place and get them threaded, but I will soon. I'm not going to leave it off for 16 hours because what time is it now? It's... 4.04 right now and I'm not gonna leave it on for six hours, 16 hours because that's just long. See you guys in a few hours. So it's hard to show on camera um, what it looks like in natural. I actually really like it. Okay, so I'm back, like it's a few hours later. Let me see what time it is. It's 7.57, bearing in mind we d I did my makeup, oh, excuse my hair. Bearing in mind I did my makeup at 4.04 it was, I finished my makeup. My foundation is looking good, like, around my nose, like, it's gotten oily. Um, but that is like every single foundation of mine that I use, like it gets oily. So that's what I was expecting. I was expecting it to get oily. But I haven't really done much today. Finally found somewhere to go and get it done. And this is one hand and this is the other. Like I really, really like it. So I'm just letting it dry. Like if I turn the studio light off, this is what my foundation is looking like. Um... This might be it, but I feel like I might get back to you and show you um, a little review in a few more hours maybe. And, and it's a win, it's a hit. And I believe you should all go and out and get that foundation. <laughs> okay, so this is my final look in of my makeup, my foundation. It's really good, it feels really comfortable. So I'm gonna take it off now because I'm gonna go have my shower and I need to uh, go to bed, so yeah. It stayed on for like five, six hours. And yeah, I really do recommend this. I'm gonna try it out more and you'll probably see it in more videos. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like this, then just subscribe and I'll do more like this. If you do wanna see me trying out the NYX Total Cover, Total Control, foundation I could do those as well I could do that as well and I'll do some others as well and um, but yeah I'm gonna go take my my makeup off my contacts out and I'm gonna go have my shower so I'll see you guys in my next video thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye